we are always choosing. This is a sentiment that is echoed in Mark Manson's book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Beep. And it is also something that I absolutely swear by. Everything in life is a choice. We are always choosing. And it's really funny because living here in South Italy, sometimes it's easy to forget that because there are so many people who live here that have resigned themselves to fate, to the way life is, to the fact that they're never going to achieve X, Y, and Z because of the economy, the government, the lack of opportunities, et cetera, et cetera. The list really does go on and on. And it's not to say that these problems don't exist because yes, living here in South Italy is extremely problematic at times. And I've been very honest and open on all of my kind of social platforms, my YouTube channel about how, you know, difficult life can be here. But it's not to say that you can't make a success of yourself. It all comes down to the choice that you make in that moment. And I can relate this to my own personal experiences like for example, language learning. Language learning is a choice. At the very beginning when I first moved here, I hadn't chosen to prioritize language learning. I hadn't made the choice to really commit to learning Italian and improving my experiences early on. It was a choice to not study that held me back for, well, the first couple of years of living here in Italy and made those early experiences with communicating with people so much harder than they needed to be. But that was a choice. And I can sit here now, six years later and be like, I was choosing not to do the work that I clearly needed to do. And it's the same with anything. When I feel stressed about work or I'm unhappy about something, I'm choosing to allow myself to feel that way. And trust me when I say It is hard work to be negative and stressed. It literally takes up all of your energy to be that way. It is far easier to try to be positive about something than it is to be negative. And, you know, like when it comes to committing to personal projects, it's always down to a choice. You know, people will sometimes say to me, like, how do I find the time to do YouTube with a full-time job with, you know, trying to balance a life in the middle of it? And it comes down to this, it is a choice. Like I choose to commit to my social platforms, to commit to this Ms. Britley brand because it's something I feel very passionate about and it's something that I really want to develop and grow. And so it is a choice for me to make this commitment, to continue to publish videos, to try to maintain the consistency as best I can and to continue to try and grow, evolve and develop. But that's a personal choice for me. And I think if we can view life like this and we can see life as a series of choices rather than it being what is given to us on a platter and we have to deal with it, I do think that you approach things from an entirely different perspective. When you're dealing with difficulty and you have some struggles and problems that you're trying to navigate, it's all too easy sometimes to try to find the scapegoat for those problems it's because of this, it's because of that. We often don't say it's because of us. It's very rare that we will actually look in the mirror and be like, do you know what? I'm taking full responsibility for this mess that I'm in. But quite often it is because of something that we've done, a decision, a choice, lack of action, or, or, you know, taking the wrong kind of action that has led us to that point. And so this concept of being so conscious of the actions we take in life, I think can radically transform your perspective because everything really is a choice. I'm often told that, you know, the reason I've been so fortunate with finding a job here is because I'm an English native speaker, mother tongue. And for this, there is a demand here in South Italy for people of this kind of background and you know like on one hand I agree with this like I've always said you know teaching English is perhaps you know an easier in inverted commas route to finding a job but even though it may be perceived as easier simply because there are less barriers to entry I will say that not everyone can be a teacher 
And, you know, I speak about this a lot on my YouTube channel, but a teacher is not somebody who just reads from a screen. A teacher is somebody who has empathy, communication skills, you know, has the ability to motivate students to understand what their student needs and, and try to support them in that way. There are so many layers to what a teacher really is that I think sometimes it can be very difficult to sum it up in a few words. But that aside, I also believe that everything is a choice. Like there are people here that don't work. And I understand that it can be difficult, especially here in Sicily. Sicily is very problematic as an island. Um, It probably has kind of some of the lowest investment in, in all of Italy, at least that's how it feels anyway. And so it can be quite easy to get sucked up into the, there are no jobs, there are no prospects here kind of mindset, because so many people really do believe that. But I think where there is a will, there is a way. Like, you know, the online world, I feel like I'm kind of from back to the future, like when I sit here and I talk to people about creating digital products or services or courses or doing something online, because so many people here have this fixed attitude of, well, to have a job, you need to have a contract or you need to go to work in an office or you need to have a shop or you need to do something, which is the perceived traditional notion of work, creating a digital product that sells whilst you sleep or, you know, a course where you can teach people from around the world, well, that just sounds like a really alien prospect for so many people. But you see, I see opportunity in everything. And I feel quite blessed to be in that kind of position where I'm able to do so. But I realize it's a choice. I choose to see opportunity in everything. Because what is the alternative? Life is not easy. Life does not deliver us a whole bunch of roses every single day. But you have to choose to take from it what you can The hardest moments of my life have taught me some of the greatest lessons because I have chosen to take the lessons from them. I could have allowed those moments to completely destroy me. And at one point I almost did, but I stood up and I learned the lessons and I chose to transform myself. And I sit here now really, really proud of the journey that I've been on. And it's this, everything is a choice. Don't blame other people for the fact that your life doesn't look the way that you want it to. Don't look outside of yourself, look inwards. What are the choices that you are making? Because somewhere along the way, you are not making the right choices if you're making any at all, if your life isn't looking how you want it to be. There is always a way. People will say, I don't have the money to teach myself. I don't have the equipment, whatever it may be, but you can find a way. When I started my YouTube channel, I began with an iPhone 8 Plus, like literally I had that for maybe the first two years off my channel. It was only when I came to Palermo that I actually got a proper camera. So for the first two years of my channel, it was like the iPhone 8 Plus. And, you know, there are some terrible videos with like really bad audio, but they're on my channel for you all to see because that is the progression and journey that I've been on. And so it's this, like there is a way that you can use what you have now to help to propel you to where you want to go, but you've got to make the decision and make the choice to view life in that way. And I think this is what it all boils down to. We can play the cards that we have been dealt very passively and choose to just allow ourselves to believe that life is as it is. And that's that. Or we can make a conscious choice to select the cards that are going to help us to improve ourselves and elevate our lives. And I think, you know, that is something that will benefit us so much more than just allowing life to take control of things for us. I will see you in the next episode.